Hi everybody, welcome to Livonia, welcome to Daisy Update 1.19, the experimental version on my local experimental server. Um, and in today's video, we're going to go hands on with some of the changes you can expect in Daisy 1.19. So if you don't want any spoilers, please click away now, as he says, looking down that corridor there. So we're on Livonia and I've spawned in some things to show you. Obviously we won't cover everything, but in the description below this video, I'll put a link to the patch notes and the blog post from Bohemia Interactive, because this really is quite special indeed. So I, I guess we've got to start with this, haven't we? We have to start with the Hummer or the M1025. Look at this beast. Looks absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to drive this uh, in anger. Um, now, apparently the vehicle physics have been updated too. Haven't had a chance to uh, check any of that. Um, just been busy learning about this sort of stuff. As you can see, this is the, the largest non-truck we have um, in De uh, vanilla Daisy at the moment. And remember, these changes will be coming to PlayStation, Xbox and um, PC shortly. You can play Daisy Experimental on Xbox and PC at the moment. Uh, just search in your library on uh, Steam for PC in, um, for Daisy Experimental on Xbox. Just go to the Xbox Store and search for Daisy Experimental and you'll find it. So as we can see inside the Hummer, we have a battery and we have a glow plug. So that's a new item that, that we need now. Um, and if we go around the back and have a look, we can see that um, it has a 300 capacity. There is a spare wheel in the back. In fact, on all the vehicles now, there is an option to have um, a spare wheel. Um, let's get in. Let's have a look around this dashboard. Looks really good, doesn't it? Looks really, really good. I couldn't tell you if this is the one from um, Reforger, but this is a very nice model indeed. Very, very nice. Very, very cool. So there's the Hummer. Looking forward to um, taking that for a drive. Now, what have I got in my hands? Well, I've got the new SSG-82 rifle. Um, I th I'm not sure whether it comes equipped as standard with a scope, but look, the scope is very, very clear. That is a very nice scope, that. It's got a nice 3D effect to it as well. Um, and the SSG-82 is chambered in 545 by 39. Um, it will take the uh, improvised suppressor. Hello. What's going on up there? More about that in a minute. Um, but it's a nice little addition, I think, to probably a mid-range sniper actually taking 545 um, ammunition. But what have I got on my back? Let's put that gun down there. We have got the new um, BK-12 shotgun, which is a um, bolt, so, sorry, it is a break action gun. So, but and it only takes one bullet. So it's quite basic really, um, but I'd, ma I'd imagine we're going to find lots of these around um, the coast. Uh, it's going to be a low tier gun that you'll find pretty quickly. Um, as you can see, yeah, 12 gauge, just takes the one shell. Um, obviously up close shotguns are pretty dangerous. And then there is the sword off version as well, which will fit in your inventory much better, but um, we'll have I guess uh, less damage range and increased pellet spread. So very, very nice indeed. Um, those PVPs amongst you will be interested in, there are now different colors of plate carriers. Um, to be honest, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> well, I think that's, is that the vanilla one? Plate carrier. Uh, so there's, there's the camo one, there's the green one, there's the black one. In fact, no, that's the normal one, isn't it there? That's the normal one. So my character's got the camo one on and we've got the, um, uh, pist camo pistol uh, holster and we've got the camo uh, pouches so it looks looks pretty cool um, and on my character's back is a bag now I don't know if this is new or not this is called Hannah's backpack I think um, in the human heart new passions are forever being born the overthrow of one almost always means the rise of another Francois de la Rochefoucauld and it's got this quite cool um, you've got a tape there we've got a skull flag very nice so a nice little i really like stuff like this these kind of slightly customized bags that, that you would find now what else have i got in my backpack well we have the new gps receiver so the G new gps receiver 
um, requires a 9 volt battery and it gives you your longitude, latitude and your altitude. Um, and then when you switch it on and then you go into first person mode, um, you should be able, ooh, if I switch it on, dunk, there it is, you, can you can you just about see it? It's probably easier like that, isn't it? So I've got my grid position and my altitude, which is fairly cool. But where things get very, very cool is if we combine the GPS receiver and a compass. So if we just, so I've got the compass, we'll just swap that over. So there, there's your normal compass. But if you have a map, what happens is when you look at the map, Look in the bottom left hand corner, it gives you your heading that you're facing and it gives your sector, uh, your grid sector and your altitude. So this is really cool this. So it means you don't, once you've got these things, you don't really need to um, use iSurvive. You shouldn't need to use iSurvive. Um, obviously this doesn't tell you exactly where you are, but you can work it out, you know, uh, grid sector X 0.7, Y 0.12. This is something that I talked about a long time ago, the fact that I felt that if you had the map and a compass, it, the game should be able to tell you where you are. And basically this does as well. So very, very good. And I think that is a fantastic addition to the game. Um, this baby here, the, the blowtorch. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So if we look at the we look at the blowtorch you'll see it says metal working tool primarily used to cut and weld metal it's designed to be fed by gas canisters now i couldn't light it with a lighter to get it working and when you when you click it there's no option to turn it on so i'm not quite sure what it's for i'm sure someone will do a video before me and, and, and tell me um but um yeah so the blowtorch so what else have we got ah Okay, so of course, of course, of course, we have the punch card. So let's swap these. So the punch card. A thick sheet of paper which in which some holes have been punched. Their patterns look to be instructions or data for an input device of some kind. Well, these doors look pretty familiar, don't they? We see things similar to this in lots of different places all over. And this is incredibly exciting. So, <laughs> now I have no idea how many of these bunkers there are in and around Livonia and Chernus. I'm not going to tell you where this one is. You can find it for yourself. Um, but we can go through here. Now what does happen, this door does close. So it'll be interesting to see whether you can get trapped in here or not. Oh, it's a bit dark. Oh, look, it's dark. It's dark. We need to spawn in a torch. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, this is gonna blow people's minds. Uh, inventory. Oh no, I don't want that torch. What am I doing? Oh, can we use it? Actually, can we use it like that? Let's put it on our red. Can you just put it straight on your head? Show my ignorance of PC Daisy here. I'll put it on. Armband. Face. Sure, it goes in your head. Oh, I, bet, I wonder if it's because I'm wearing that. 
Okay, so the thing I just took off. Come on, put it on. Where would it go? It can't go on your beard. Oh, well, I've put... Let's throw that on the floor. So that's the improvised um, eye uh, bandage, the um, eye, eye piece that you can put on. You, you can make that out of... There we go. Right, okay, that's better. So we know how to put it on now. Oh, it goes there. Right. Right, here we go. So, yes, yeah, so apologies, I should have said. You can make uh, improvised... Um, um, what, what do you call it? Oh, I can't remember what you call them now. Where's it gone? Right, let's make another one now. So, Improvised eye patch, of course. So you just get take some rags, put them in your hand like you would to make the improvised gloves and the improvised shoes and head wrap and all that sort of stuff. And that gives you then the uh, improvised... Which I guess means, yeah, you can't wear that at the same time, can you? No, right, okay, so that kind of makes sense. So, let's um, have a look around this bunker. All right, that's where we came in, wasn't it? How amazing, uh, how amazing is this? Console players are gonna, you, uh, this is absolutely stunning, absolutely brilliant. In fact, I tell you what, peeps, I'm gonna stop here I'm not going to go any further in because I don't want to spoil things for you. I think you should find out for yourself. So, uh, what I will say is though, it does go down a long way because I actually, um, the way I found it was uh, by going underneath the map in the editor um, and doing it that way. So there we go. I don't know how many they are, but that is pretty cool. And I guess we should probably finish off because there's lots of other things in this update as well. There's um, We've now got vehicle convoys. Um, there's different you, when you, when you get hit in terms of um, uh, blood, you get blood splatters. Um, the um, police cars now don't spawn in kind of by themselves. They spawn in um, uh, kind of in a in a group of different vehicles. But oh, and vehicles now have automatic gears. So anyway. That's enough from me. I'll put the links in the description below the video. Hope you've liked it. Hope you're looking forward to 119. Remember, it's an experimental now on Xbox and PC, and it will be coming to PlayStation uh, in a few weeks. Oh well. <laughs>